A pair of Livermore business partners has turned their hobby into a business, not just a business to make money, but to help others who are just like them. They are military veterans who have decided to turn barrels of beer and bottles of wine into a sign of support. As Crown Force John Finolio reports, this is a Bay Area brew made by vets to benefit vets. By all accounts, it looks like any other small shop operation that makes and sells handcrafted beer and wine. But for the owners and staff of Uncle Sam's Misguided Brewery and Valor Winery, this is an operation that does much more than just bottled beer and wine. You can buy a bottle and you know that you are supporting creation of jobs for veterans and wounded warriors and vetted effective programs for recovery and rehabilitation. The veteran owned and operated business employs over 50 fellow vets and with every sale, a portion of their proceeds are donated to programs for returning soldiers that helps them get back on their feet. It really is a brotherhood. Here, veterans come to work and unwind in the company of fellow veterans. One of the biggest challenges faced by veterans returning to the workforce is the very real fear and isolation they experience beyond the battlefield. Their memories of war stay with them. Here, though, veterans say they feel like they belong. Uh, this uh, Valor Winery opened up a lot of doors for me. Aaron Hart is a former U.S. Army specialist. He says his memories from the battlefield never leave him. Seeing those wounds, you know, like people just your friends with rips and tears and bullet holes and all that's just stressful and you never forget about that stuff. But at the brewery, working with fellow veterans, Hart says he's making progress. Me, when I was here, this is about accomplishing things together. That's how I saw it. Like, you know, you make some beer and then you get to try it and you're just like, oh, I just, we just made this beer. For these veterans, a sense of pride and purpose in every bottle. Reporting in Livermore, John Finolio, Cron 4 News.